Hey y'all, um, so uh, tonight I'm going to talk about uh, an old, uh, I guess be old school uh, CD ripping program, if you're still into that kind of thing. <laughs> um, it's called G-Rip. Now I know in uh, uh, Arch Linux you can use the repository um, using Yowart or whatever. Uh, to grab it, um, you just go say yeah or uh, G rip, and so you have it installed. It's a CD player and ripper for GNOME, but it it, it works. Exit out of here, and I'll bring up the interface. It's very simple, and as I said, uh, old school uh, multimedia G rip. Okay. resize the window a little bit. So I'm going to take a CD. Actually, this is one of the first, actually the first CD I think I ripped using G-Rip back on many years ago. Like, I don't know, it was before it was like PC Linux GNOME or it was, I don't think it was, no, it couldn't have been Mandrake. Um, so anyway, ah, there we go. So what it does, it automatically looks on the database, and this is a test record. Um, and you can do a configuration um, as long as your CD ROM is working. I changed just this one part to the tilde or, or whatever that grave um, sign and uh, slash music slash, and then the rest I just left the same. Um, if you want to change it manual um, in a different way, you can go to your home folder, unhide, and it's uh, do, 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 it does put uh, well leaf pad. It does put its configuration file here, and uh, I wish I had a desktop zoom, but I don't have one working yet. But there are some settings you want to look at. But what I would do is like make a backup of this, like just copy it or, or put it into an archive file. Um, the main part you want to pay attention to is it's uh, ripping um, paranoia here, G rip CD paranoia. Disable some of these, especially the extra, it'll take forever. And if you're sure, pretty sure the disk is okay, you can disable scratch detection and repair. Um, so that's what I usually do. Encoding. Um, now, it's, like I said, again, when it names the files, it's going to be pretty basic file naming. You can create an M3U. I'm not sure if it, it supports anything else. This program is no longer developed, but it still works. And I find it it's, it's only just a little over a megabyte to download. So, if you hover your mouse over rip, and it'll check them all. Again, it'll uncheck them. And if you say rip and then plus encode, it'll ask you, do you want to select all tracks? So I'll just select all tracks anyway. Uh, the status window is a command terminal look. Um, so I encode to flack. And you have options for oops um, yeah it's not a very intuitive interface <laughs> but it's really neat so down here in this area it's, these are obvious you know uh, place pause fast fast forward next track toggle uh, play mode uh, power off toggle the uh, track display, make it smaller if you want. So this can actually play CDs as well, obviously. Um, toggle disk editor. And that's correct. And now another thing too is um, uh, rip configuration is options. Auto eject after rip. It doesn't work. So you're going to have to manually do it. But Anyway, okay, so we have the track selected. You just select RIP and ENCODE. So just press that button. And disk is 53 minutes long. So you wait for it to spin up. It should be pretty quick, though. 
once it gets going. There we go. So it's ripping the first track. And there's also CPU options, but it, it says to start and restart. Oh, what I should mention that's important too is you know unhide these. I did find a a manual online, believe it or not, it's still there. And uh should make an archive of it because this program still works. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, so uh, G Rip it just tells you the descriptions and the options, and you can do this through command line as well. You can build your own sort of uh, conventions. They have uh, ID three uh, tag and stuff, genre, blah blah blah, and you can read through these. I'll put the link in the description. LinuxCommand.org man pages G Rip. HTML1, grip onehtml sorry, and yeah, it first, uh, you can rip it to a WAV file, but it first rips it to a WAV file, and then it encodes it, so, as you can see here, it's encoding, and it's already at track 6, and it deselects the tracks as you're going along, and then as each track is ripped, it starts encoding, and then it deletes the wave file. So if I go into the directory, I might be able to catch one in in uh, music folder. There's that. Now this will be deleted once it's um, encoded. Should be. Okay. Yeah. See the one there. Now there's a new one. So it's uh I find this really it it's for me it's good enough because it creates a playlist. I can open them up in uh, XMS XMMS uh, player and like I mean you know I don't see the reason to have like a huge uh, unless you know whatever like for listening to music I don't see the reason to have like you know overkill you know just you know you're there to listen to the music. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, Yowart in uh, um, Arch Linux, I don't know about Ubuntu or other operating systems. You might be able to get it still. I'm sure maybe there's a Debian. Um, oh, GRIP. It was by nostatic.org, but they're seeing now it's an archive, unfortunately. As two cow software library. Oh, I guess you can get it. You can get a tar file. GZ. I think. Let me see. Save file. Bye. Clear list. Um. And by the way, since I've been talking, it's boom. It's done and. Unfortunately, even pressing this, eject. You can press the status, eject disk. No, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> it won't work, so whatever. You power this off and just take your disk out. So, I'll take a quick look at that. Uh, I don't know what's the right one. Um. Now where to go? Well, that's no fun. There it is. Yep. It's the full thing, so I guess you can make one up. Or there might be a Debian file somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, th so that's it for this one. I thought I'd share this um, information in case you're curious about a lightweight uh CD ripper. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching. And uh, any questions, I don't think there's much I can say. But if you have any, um, just let me know. And I'll try to help you out. And thanks so much for watching. And happy Canada Day. That's right, it's July 1st. Okay, bye for now.